Good morning, Christian. How are you? Good, I'm fine. How are you? I'm also good. Thank you. It's nice to meet you after a long time. As we are all stuck up at home in our own country due to COVID-19, so this is probably the only way we can we can communicate and we are functioning. So I would first I would like to start with my first question. As Homag is a very large enterprise with huge number of employees, how you are coping up with the situation in terms of safety and also how you are communicating with your customers? Ah, well, I think we're doing pretty well um, at the moment. So what we did in the first place is uh, to, to install measures that secure and protect our teams uh, from, from infections. To give you some examples, um, in our plans, <clears throat> we are working with less people on the square meter. We're working with rolling shifts and doing remote handovers uh, between the shifts, so there's less infection risk. We have increased our hygienic measures uh, overall um, very early at a very early point in time. For example, our canteens are closed and the catering staff is providing food packages instead of uh, providing food in the canteens. And for uh, the office staff, most of our colleagues are working remotely from home. And we are really grateful for our capable IT team that uh, really in a short time provided the necessary infrastructure. Uh, so that everybody can work uh, remotely and uh, this is um, was a very good job and we are very happy for their pragmatic support. Um, looking into our teams, we are blessed, really blessed with a high committed and disciplined team. Uh, we see a very uh, um, a low uh, absence rate uh, still, uh, so our you know protective measures uh, are working, people are uh, dealing with them in a very good way, in the best possible way I would say. Um, we try to keep in touch with our customers um, online, on the phone, uh, with video meetings, in sales and service, and we are uh, aligning with our customers um, uh, individual solutions. So what, what can we do in the current setup and situation to keep our customers' business uh, going? So I have a great respect for all the colleagues working in the field, working in the plants, uh, they are dealing with this very well, very well and we uh, see also our customers are, are respecting our efforts very much. Um, so today, I would say, looking at our workforce and the, the contact with the customers, it's, it's okay, pretty, pretty, working pretty well, yeah? Yeah, from a management perspective, also, you know, we, we, we installed a, a kind of a, a corona task force, so we pulled together the information from the markets and from the uh, different plans and organizational units so we can uh, take like informed decisions uh, carrying it on from week to week seeing how we can adapt uh, what we need to do uh, to fine-tune our, our approach and, and, and think this is good so also the my, my leaders uh, my leadership colleagues in the company they, we all I think adapted also very quickly uh, putting more meetings uh, online um, some of my colleagues install chat rooms doing their daily routines uh, online every morning so we keep in touch um, also with the teams who are working remotely. Uh, so I think you cannot compensate 100% uh, but I think we are pretty uh, well on the way. That's what I hear from the teams worldwide and um, uh, yeah so we're, we're dealing uh, well with the situation. Right. Uh, well, as, the, as, as for the COVID-19, one thing is heat really badly in all the industry is uh, supply chain, which is also very important for your business, for any production business, I believe. How you are addressing this problem? Uh, yeah, this is also giving us some, uh, some hard times. Um, uh, currently, we see different, very different situations throughout the globe. So China is recovering, which is very positive. We see the markets picking up productions possible. APEC in general, except China, we see Korea, Taiwan working pretty okay. All the other countries in the APEC regions are pretty highly affected. For example, India is still in a lockdown situation. We see the same in USA and Brazil. Um, looking at Europe, we are also in a mixed situation. Uh, for example, France, just prolonged the, the restrictions. 
Austria is opening up very carefully. In Germany, we will today have a, a new situation communicated by the government. So we will see how that develops. So in general, we see um, many restrictions from the markets. Looking at our supply chain here in Germany and also in the big plant in Poland, we are in a pretty good shape. We had some critical suppliers um, and we were able to quickly generate our backup suppliers for critical parts. So from the point of view today, we can keep up production in Germany and Poland. And this is for us, it's very important um, uh, looking at the global uh, supply of, of products. So yeah, we are uh, still in, in, in a good shape also in this direction. I'm very happy. Right. Uh, one thing is for sure, like uh, at this moment, particularly digital technology is the key, key, the buzzword, like everybody is depending on this digital technology. And HOMAG being the pioneer in that, how, how would you like to address your customer and how would you like to address the future to adopt uh, this technology for the future? Yeah, I think this is uh, the right uh, key word because uh, digital is, is um, really a, a key lever to handle this crisis. We are in a good shape um, uh, looking at uh, our products also towards the customers. We, we are strong there and now we are benefiting from, from this. We have a wide range of digital tools and that's true for sales and service tools. Um, for example, the virtual factory planning or the means of presenting products and solutions online with the corresponding media. We have uh, more and more projects where we can also, you know, do the virtual commissioning. So uh, we are more and more independent also from the, the physical uh, uh, things. Um, and we can do, you know, in service, our customers are already uh, used to our um, uh, products, remote service, online diagnostics. Uh, so this is already well, uh, you know, uh, established and this is very helpful now and we're pushing forward in the uh, digital direction, I think, um, uh, with even more force. Um, so we're also uh, settled quite well in, in this direction. When you look, you know, the digital um, perspective can also be applied in the ways of working and, and leading. I think also this crisis will result in a major, you know, cultural uh, shift. So some of these ways of working, very flexible ways of working, very agile, will stick also after the virus. And uh, we see this works quite well. We are doing more, we are having experience with this now. And um, um, I think when you look at the time after the virus, the um, business will stay turbulent. There will be a heavy pickup, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, so, you know, lead times for planning and adapting to new uh, situations will stay low we will have a necessity for agile working and collaboration leadership will um, become you know in, in leadership we will uh, focus more on the purpose and the vision instead of the how things should be done teams have to do that on their own very agile very autonomous so uh, leaders are asked also to connect the people internally externally and teams are doing you know, um, whatever is necessary in the, in the actual situation. So there will be some changes that will stick. So the digital tools and products will, will be, I think, uh, more important. We will have different ways of working and leadership. Uh, that's all not new, but it's now, I think the speed of change is increasing. Uh, so I see also many chances uh, in this crisis now. That's also important, that's right. Oh, well, I must uh, ask you one question. I recently received this question while I'm talking to you on a video conferencing. Like recently you have come up with a new strategic development with a co-partner, uh, if I can pronounce it properly, Schuler, Schuler Consulting, as for the video conferencing platform for free of service, free of charge. Can you uh, brief me on that? Uh, yeah, the, the, the colleagues from Schuler Consulting are part of, of the HOMA group and they are operating um, uh, in also in a, in, on a global scope. So they are also, um, you know, their situation is that they have um, always uh, needed to, to find ways to contact and be in touch with customers very, um, very closely. So uh, they are very innovative. They have, I think last year, were also awarded with the top consultant award. So they are doing a, a very strong consultancy 
to customers around the world and, and uh, we see these colleagues uh, are doing a very good job. Okay, so do you offer this for your customer or it is for the internal use for your training, for workshop, what it is all about? Yeah, we are increasing those, uh, those um, offers uh, more and more. I think Schuler Consulting was uh, among the first to do that and uh, we are currently also building up our instruments, our tools also in, in other units of the group uh, um, to, to serve our customers also online in a better way. And trainings, what you said, trainings is a very important component of, now we can use the time very good for, for training um, in new products, uh, in machine optimization, uh, product uh, solution uh, optimization. And so this is, um, I think, a good time to do that. Well, now there's a very, a very vital question I'd like to ask you. As we most of the time do business uh, and meet in the trade shows, and we know all the trade shows you know, either mm -hmm. postpone or cancel. And yesterday only we received two very big information. One is the whole brand work is not happening this year. And, right. and uh, Zilexpo, Zilexpo has uh, given their new date in November. Right. How, you see, how you see the, the business will affect because of this cancellation and delayed and postponed of the trade shows worldwide? Yeah, so a good, a good question. We, we have started to think about the trade fair of the future already uh, mid of last year. So this helps us now because trade fairs as a platform for personal contact which stay highly relevant. That is, I think, a very important platform uh, looking at our portfolio. Um, but we are working already on, on more, also more sustainable ways to do trade fairs. Um, so. Uh, supported by, for example, virtual technologies. So this will be a very interesting uh, additional feature for our trade fair execution of the future. So we will be able to reduce also the floor space, we will reduce the logistics effort, the waste produced, the energy consumption. So this will add on also to our sustainability uh, footprint. And um, we will uh, combine it with this physical presence and the, the, the platform as a platform for communication and exchange supported by these virtual elements. So we can, I think also um, uh, with this work done, started already last year, we are in a good shape and I hope we can meet our customers live very soon again. Uh, for example, this year at the Humac Treff in September, we are planning for that. We have 60 years anniversary so that will be a very special uh, occasion to meet also live again. I hope that's possible. That's right, very much. I hope like we will come up of this situation very soon and everybody is working very hard and everybody's praying, you know, to come out of this situation. Thank you so much for being with me, for giving your time. And I wish you good health and everybody back at your company. Yes, I agree. So we are all in this together and we are also uh, wishing all our, uh, the companies and the customers uh, all the best to come through that situation and uh, looking from our perspective there will be an upswing and we will be, once it's possible again, we will be back very strong and I'm, I'm pressing my thumbs and, and wishing all the best for everybody else in the market uh, uh, to come through the situation in a good shape. So thanks for the time. Thank you.